Devarim, Words of Moshe, Deuteronomy, Chapter 21. If one be found slain in the land which Yahweh thy God giveth thee to possess it, lying in the field, and it be not known who hath smitten him, then thy elders and thy judges shall come forth, and they shall measure to the cities which are round about him that is slain. And it shall be that the city which is nearest to the slain man, even the elders of that city shall take a heifer of the herd, which hath not been wrought with, and which hath not drawn in the yoke. And the elders of that city shall bring down the heifer to a valley with running water, which is neither ploughed nor sown, and shall break the heifer's neck there in the valley. And the priests, the sons of Lewi, shall come near, for them Yahweh thy God hath chosen to serve to him, and to bless in the name of Yahweh, and according to their word shall every controversy and every stroke be. And all the elders of that city who are nearest to the slain man shall wash their hands over the heifer whose neck was broken in the valley. And they shall answer and say, Our hands have not shed this blood, neither have our eyes seen it. Forgive, O Yahweh, thy people, Yisrael, whom thou hast redeemed, and give not innocent blood, to remain in the midst of thy people, Yisrael, and the blood shall be forgiven them. So shalt thou put away the innocent blood from the midst of thee, when thou shalt do that which is right in the eyes of Yahweh. When thou goest forth to battle against thy enemies, and Yahweh thy God delivereth them into thy hands, and thou carriest them away captive, and seest among the captives a beautiful woman, and thou be attached to her, and wouldst take her to thee for a woman, and thou bringest her to the midst of thy house, and she shall shave her head, and pare her nails." and she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thy house, and bewail her father and her mother a full month, and after that thou shalt go into her, and be her husband, and she shall be thy woman. And it shall be, if thou delight not in her, then thou shalt let her go for her soul, but thou shalt not sell her at all for money, thou shalt not deal with her as a slave, because thou hast humbled her. If a man have two women, the one beloved and the other hated, and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated, if the firstborn son be hers that was hated, then it shall be, in the day that he causeth his sons to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the son of the beloved the firstborn before the son of the hated, who is the firstborn son. But he shall acknowledge the firstborn son, the son of the hated, by giving him a double portion of all that he hath. For he is the beginning of his strength, the right of the firstborn is his. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son that will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and though they chasten him, will not hearken to them, then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him, and bring him out to the elders of his city, 
and to the gate of his place. And they shall say to the elders of his city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of his city shall stone him to death with stones. So shalt thou put away the evil from the midst of thee. And all Yisrael shall hear and fear. And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be put to death, and thou hang him on a tree, his body shall not remain all night upon the tree, but thou shalt surely bury him the same day, for he that is hanged is accursed of God, that thou defile not thy land, which Yahweh thy God giveth thee, for an inheritance.